This is the Ben and Glenn Aqua Zen airlift pump, as I interpreted it from their video. What you have is a uh, check valve. I used a two inch check valve here. Then a little 45 business going into a horizontal area where the air goes in and then up and reducing to an inch and a half pipe and running that inch and a half pipe up inside of this T so that the water flows up out of that inch and a half, spills down into the T, separating the air and the water and not allowing the water to sink back down the pipe. That little part right there doubles the efficiency of this pump. This pump without the little separator pumped 1.25 gallons per minute with a uh, submersion of 30 inches and a lift of 24. Dividing 24 by the total 54 inch vertical run uh, gives you the submersion ratio uh, of somewhere around 0.44 or something like that. Um, this would not work well for just a simple airlift pump. I tried it and it took 11 minutes to fill five gallons. Uh, it doesn't even compare, it was right at the breaking point. So what makes the difference though is this little rise, this horizontal area that, that rises up from the intake. Now I'm not so, I have no idea why this works because, I mean, just in my mind, it should be able to come right in here, which I did. I did this test with, with this over here and it doesn't work as well. You've got to have the horizontal, uh, the, the elevated horizontal run to make this, this all work as well as it does. This is a fantastic pump, a great improvement. Uh, Glenn and Ben, I hand it to you. You, you. you deserve many kudos for the improvements you've made in um, airlift pumps. And uh, I haven't built your uh, muffler yet, but uh, I will. And what you hear in the background is my airlift pump. Um, maybe I could make that quieter with your muffler. So thank you so very much uh, for sharing your information uh, freely and making it uh, you know, available to everyone. Good job, guys.